Hello and thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn about one very good feature of Azure Cloud that is Azure Bastion. Azure Bastion is a fully managed platform as a service solution that provides the capability of accessing the virtual machines over the internet securely via the Azure Bastion host. In normal scenarios, Typically, in order to access the VM, we need public IP to assign to the virtual machine and that public IP need to be allowed and that virtual machine port need to be allowed from the network security group and uh, that IP and port need to be allowed in order so we can provide the uh, remote desktop connectivity to the users. On the other side, Azure Bastion is a fully managed platform as a service solution that can gives us capability of accessing the same virtual machine without the need of assigning the public IP securely and remotely. So in this diagram, as you can see, uh, Azure Bastion is deployed in our virtual network in a dedicated Azure Bastion subnet. It, it requires dedicated subnet, and then it, but it's need to be have in the separate virtual network. So the user or admin uh, goes to the Azure portal and then from Azure portal, he goes to the Azure Bastion option. So the communication from Azure portal to the Azure Bastion happens on the 443. Similarly, we can use the uh, native client that also uh, connects to the Azure Bastion through 443 over the internet. So this is the uh, from Azure portal to the native or the native client. The communication happens to the Azure version through the public IP. So Azure version will have one public IP assigned to it. And from Azure version connectivity to the backend virtual machines inside our target VM subnets, communication happens over the private IP. If it's a VM is uh, Windows VM, it communicates to the VM through 3389, if it is a non-Windows VM, it connects to the VM through 22. So in nutshell, Azure Bastion is a fully managed platform as a service solution that provides capability of uh, accessing the VM through the internet securely without having the public IP assigned to it. So this is secure. This is highly available service for Microsoft and we don't need to be worried about managing the network security group rules in order to maintain the connectivity and the security with the public IP. So there are a lot of benefits, many benefits as I mentioned, we don't need to manage the network security group and then also it provides us protection against the port scanning and it also providing security hardening also have the feature of the protection against the zero day vulnerabilities. Azure Bastions uh, comes in different SKUs as, as you can see in the uh, Microsoft article. I will be posting this link in the description in the video. You can go and have the look at the documentation. Then you can see like um, what are the pricing options. Let's say we have different flavors. Azure Bastion basic is the 0.19 uh, dollars per hour. Then we have 0.29 per hour for the standard. And then there is a traffic cost attached to Azure Bastion as well, like outbound cost from the Azure Bastion to the target VMs is based on the capacity. So I will be posting both the links of the Azure Bastion and the Azure Bastion pricing in the description below. So you can have a quick click on it. Now I'm going to show you the demo of the deploying of the Azure version host. So before that, we need a virtual network in our environment. So as you can see, we have the MT resource group. So I will go, and go ahead and create the virtual network. So this is going to be first virtual network in our Azure environment. Okay, I need to give the name, virtual network, my cloud, vnet, vnet A. 
I select the region on the next. So you see the option enable Azure Bastion. I will select this. So you can read this description. Azure Bastion is a paid service that provides secure RDP SSH connectivity to the virtual machines over TLS. When you connect your via Azure Bastion, your virtual machine do not need a public IP address. So only Azure Bastion will have public IP address that is creating at this step. Then uh, I will keep the other two options unchecked because I don't need Azure Firewall and Azure DDoS network protection as of now. Next, I need to create the IP addresses. So my VNet CIDR is going to be slash 16. So in this, you can see it is giving me option to create a two subnets now because we need one subnet for the default for the workloads like VM applications etc and then we have we need a dedicated subnet for the Azure Bastion subnet uh, Azure Bastion host so as I mentioned previously that you need a dedicated subnet in this diagram you can see Azure Bastion subnet that will have a one host as a highly available and then it will have a public IP that is going to be uh, accessible from the internet. And then from that, then you will have a default uh, target VM subnet separately than you need for the URL workloads. So this, similarly, you have, you can see we have two subnets in this diagram. So we, got, we are going to create a two subnets. So our uh, default workload uh, VM subnets will be 10 slash 24 and then other Azure Bastion subnet will be slash 26. Okay. It is recommended to keep this one as a slash 26. Next, this is optional for the text. Then basically it runs the validation. Create. I'm going to pause the recording. So we'll come back once it is done. So Bastion host is created and then we can see the resources that what we have in uh, our resource group. So you can see we have one Bastion host is created. Let's go and see the properties. Okay, it has one public IP address assigned to it. That IP address is this one, but we don't need to remember the IP address. And then we can see the configuration from here. And then uh, what we need to do, I have created one test VM in order to test the connectivity for this uh, Bastion host. Okay, so if you see the test server one has one interface attached to it, network interface attached to it, but doesn't have public IP assigned to it. Let me go through and then verify it. Okay, you see this VM is created in uh, my resource group in the, go to the network settings. You will review which subnet it is created. So it is basically created under the default subnet. Okay, because other subnet is used for the version host. Okay, this is having pri private IP address is 10.0.0.4 and it doesn't have public IP address because we don't need it because Bastion host is the one from there we will connect to the VM. And then you can see one uh, rule is attached to it that is called RDP rule. We have to delete that rule because we don't need that rule anymore. because Bastion host will connect to it by itself from the uh, Azure portal. Okay. So you need to go there and connect. We'll go to the Bastion. Okay. Connect, connect this using go to Bastion. Okay. I need to give the admin user, my cloud admin.
it looks like username password is wrong here you go so i have successfully connected to the vm that doesn't have public ip connected to the vm through the bastion host now let's go back and see the bastion host properties what it has i go to the bastion here and see the sessions i have one session connected that is target server name is test one target ip address this one protocol is rdp okay and then i go here and you can see i am connected to this server So by this, it is verified that if you use the Bastion host, we don't need to have the public IP address for the VM. Thank you for watching the video.